I've been doing this now um, since 1984. Uh, I got in it just because I liked uh, monster trucks as a kid and I wanted to see if I could get an RC monster truck. I bumped into the Quad Buster and other Tamiya vehicles and um, you know, I've been hooked ever since. I didn't know you could competitively race. Here we go to the second map, put Drew's in there, he... Oh! Oh, Jason takes the win. Any words of wisdom? Oh man, I don't know. This has uh, been a long day. We haven't run much, and uh, now we got the wind kicking up, so this is gonna get interesting. Uh, I think slow and steady might win the race here. Uh, so that might be the words of wisdom. I made tracks in my backyard, figure eights, circle tracks, competition, side-by-side -side stuff, and we raced in my backyard, you know, me and my neighbors and my friends and cousins, and, and then uh, the hobby store told me that, hey, why don't you go out to the racetrack? You know, there's one in Orlando. Uh, it was about 40 minutes from where we lived, so went out there and uh, realized that there was a whole group of people that were um, racing, and uh, I got some race cars for off-road racing, uh, JRXT from Losi, and then I uh, ended up with an RC10 from Team Associated, and uh, I was so hooked on the racing side of it, uh, just realizing that uh, there were so many people involved that were passionate about the same thing that I was. I uh, got to the point where I was a travel team racer for Team Associated. I was a pro racer on, uh, for them in the 90s. Uh, you know, at one point, uh, we decided to get into it from a manufacturing standpoint. It's funny because we started with a car. We had a BJ4 because uh, the partner I had on the project was Brad. So it was Brad and Jason's four-wheel drive buggy. And you know, this was an IFMAR World Championship. This was the highest level of competition in Surface RC. And uh, you know, we, we did really well with the car. We didn't know what, what was going to happen. Uh, we made it so that it was very uh, parts friendly with the associated type cars and they didn't have a four-wheel buggy at the time They were really impressed with what we did and a couple of years later uh, We worked out a deal with them where they bought the design from us which later became the B44 You know off-road racing and 10 scale off-road racing have been so big since the 80s and you know it's one of those things where um, it never seems to die. It, it, uh, it, it goes in peaks and valleys just like everything else. It's something that we're kind of known for, those, those scales, and uh, we, we try to always stay on top of those body styles and accessories for those cars. You know, where we started in drag racing is we talked to a, a buddy and a racer of ours, J.D. Crow. And he said, hey, you guys need to really look at this drag racing community. Uh, they're, you know, another group of passionate guys, of course. They want to build better street eliminator cars and drag racing cars. And, and we got involved, you know, we said, you know what, we're going to give it a shot. We think this is, has got some promise. And uh, we made the, the Chevy Nova 2 body. And then, you know, we, we went into the Mustang and Chevelle, but it never seems to get old. Uh, everyone always loves those 70s models. We, we have a huge list of projects that we're working on in that, in that genre to just kind of, um, you know, show people what we can do. When we got into monster trucks, we kind of felt like it was a little bit numb, like nothing had come out recently for that scale and for monster trucks. And we, we thought that we could add something to it. You know, with Fred's experience and my experience, we were able to kind of talk to guys that were, you know, also passionate about, you know, real monster trucks and say, hey, you know, what do we need to do here? What's missing? We got into the tire side, we got into the body side of it. Um, and we, of course, we started with ones that we liked the best, 89 Fords. 93 Fords, then we got into the 51 uh, panel truck, and uh, we've been just kind of moving down the line of all of our favorite looking monster trucks and trying to incorporate them into shorter wheelbase, longer wheelbase, because there's a lot of different classes, just like there is in all of RC. So 
Uh, you know, we've got the retros, they use a little smaller body. We get into the race trucks, they use a little larger, longer body. So we've been trying to flip back and forth on having different uh, wheelbase and size bodies available uh, so that everybody kind of can get what the truck that they want to build. You know, uh, that's what we hear all the time is everyone says, oh man, I've always wanted to build this truck or I've always wanted to build that truck. And are you guys going to make this body? So, you know, it's kind of like the drag racing. We're trying to work down the, the line of different year models and, and styles to get to the point where, you know, everybody can kind of build that truck that they've always wanted to. It's been a nice, it's been a nice journey. It's been nice to get onto a different racing scene along with the drag racing and be around different guys. Everybody still wants to race. They're, they're, they're racers and passionate, but I think um, what's different is the way the styles of the racing are the cars, um, and of course, what's really big in RC now is the scale trucks. So what's kind of cool about the monster trucks is it's almost a combined a scale truck with a racing truck because you can build it to look like a, a real truck, and but then you can race it too. People love going fast, and uh, every question that you get when you're sitting here is how fast does it go? And, and uh, so you're never gonna get rid of that speed aspect, and that's where the drag racing comes in is, it's the, the one thing that everybody can try to give a shot at their own speed run or their drag race and they can always try it and, um, and they can get hooked on it.